Oh, Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday evening to you. I uh, hope this message, I hope this video, this live video, not a message, message but this uh, interaction uh, finds you well and safe and that you are hanging in and muddling through the, uh, the abyss like all of us. Um, I'm happy to be here, happy to have uh, a class to be able to train together tonight. So um, before we get started while you're getting, uh, getting ready here, um, you're going to need a couple uh, items to uh, take this class. You're going to need a chair. Okay, you're gonna need a, uh, either a folding chair, dining room chair, something that you can actually step up on that won't break, that you'll be able to, uh, be able to use. And you're also gonna need a little small ball, like a tennis ball, um, a small little you know, bouncy ball. Uh, if you don't have that, you could probably use a little um, stuffed animal of one of your children, um, or, or yours if you have a stuffed animal, um, something small that you're gonna need to be able to catch. So we'll use that uh, as well. Um, I'll bow us in. We're going to do a different kind of warm-up. Um, uh, this is going to be a very striking-centered class tonight. Uh, it's for everybody, uh, so just get ready. And like, like always, uh, improvise and adjust as you need to. Do the things you can do. Uh, and I'll try to give you some alternatives to things that I don't think you can do. Um, and let's get going. Who we got? Let's ride. So Phil Krause is here, and then Phil's Tom Dumphy's here. Excellent. Awesome. Tom? My Tom is here. Good. And Phil. Okay. Deep breath in, out, eyes closed, make so. So you're man, right? Oh, so I'm going to move this off camera. Who else we got? I just saw some uh, up. It's a Lyric and Derek. Here. Who? Lyric and Derek. Aha! Lyric and Derek are with us. Awesome. And we're going to have a great time. So just start uh, with shoulders apart. Okay? And I just want you to just roll your shoulders back. Okay? Nice and easy. Just loosen up. I can hear my neck and back creaking and cracking. And roll them forward. Take your head and go backwards and forwards. Okay? Not too fast, just nice and easy, loosening up side to side. Good. And big circle. Let's go three times one direction. And three times the other direction. Good. Take your hands out and just roll your wrists. Okay, so I'm parallel to the ground. I'm relaxed and just moving my wrists. And backwards. Good, now I want you to just make short little arm circles. Okay, I like to kind of shift my feet here a little bit side to side and I kind of bring my toes in so I get my ankles nice and warmed up. A little bit bigger, a little bigger yet. Big circles. Good, and other way, little circles, bigger, bigger, how are we doing, Ryan? Good, uh, Peter Newell's here. Hi, Peter, that must mean Jamie's with us, I hope. Big circle, good, now when you take your arms and just slap your back, right, and each time, left arm over, right arm over, so switching the hand that's on top so I engage my brain at the same time, and just shift it, again. Just kind of taking my toes and digging them into the mat a little bit to warm those up. Good. Hands on the hips, and you're just going to lean right and left. Just stretching the hips, small the back a little bit. Good. Let's go forward and backwards. Come on, D-man, let's go. Backward and forward. Come on, Lily. And next, big circle with our hips. One way, four or five times, and then the other way, four or five times. Good, feet apart, hands out, gonna do alternate toe touches, right? So I reach, touch, my other hand comes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. This is a martial arts exercise called Gaisha. Okay, and the idea here is we have meridians on our body. Um, and we want to keep the center line here. So I'm going to take my hands and energy from both hands. I'm going to push them together like I'm praying, okay? And I want to push equal energy so I'm not pushing my hands off of the, cent the center line. They're equal happening at the same time. I'm going to push pressure above my head with my, which is basically just my palms here because I don't have my full structure behind me. And as I come down, I'm going to come down like I'm praying to the center of my body. Then I'm going to reach up, same thing, pressure with my wrists and, and hands up into my center, and then I'm gonna come all the way out, pressure in and in. So if I'm from my profile, I'm coming down, I'm coming up, and I'm coming in. And pressure is happening in the whole time, as hard as you can. You ready? Let's go, D. Down, in, and in. That was up, rather. Down, up, pushing pressure, in. Pressure the whole time, itch. Ni, san, itch, ni, san, itch, ni, and san. Shake out, open up your legs, runner stretch, bending one knee and rolling up onto your heel. Right elbow inside the right knee, pushing, stretching out my groin, squaring my body up over my knee, and a little bit of a bounce. Stretching my hamstring, not too much. Alexa's watching. Also Alexa. And switching to the opposite side. Really trying to get my head over my knee. Opposite leg. Get a good stretch. You're gonna be doing lots of kicking. Again. The next thing I want you to do is you're going to switch back and forth on your own and you're going to see if you can take your hands out of the picture. So now I'm going to go hands up. Switch. One. And just back and forth on your own. It's a good stretch. It's a good balance exercise. And a good strength building exercise on your legs. Good. Hands come down. Come back up to center. Bring your feet together. Bend your knees. And you're going to circle your knees. One way, one, two, three, four, five. Other way, one, two, three, four, five. Pushing straight on your knees, pushing down, coming up onto your heels, and pushing your legs open, heels up off the ground. There's a little bounce to this and there's a little count. Each knee, san chi. Each knee, san chi. Each knee, san chi. Each knee, san chi. Shake out a little bit. Who's typing in, Ryan? Uh, Heather Krause. Said. Heather Krause is here. Good. From here, while Heather's typing, just want you to start jogging. And Derek, we know you. You're a you're a runner. You can do this for hours. Pace is nice and easy. Just moving your feet, right in place. Okay. We're gonna pick up the pace in a couple seconds, and we're gonna do a few different things with our legs. So let's pick up the pace a little faster. Hands can move at the same time, right? Like I'm sprinting almost. Breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth, training like a fighter. Keep your legs going. Now get your knees up on high knees. You can put your hand down and actually hit your hand, then you know your knees are getting high enough. Anthony's here. Oh, Anthony, good to have you. You haven't missed a class. Get those knees up. And Jamie said that guy looks like a rock star. Now, keep moving. I'm going to take my heels towards my butt. Heels touching my butt. Zellig's here. Oh, Zellig. Glad you're with us, buddy. Good. Back to center. Just keep your job going. We're going to move to twisting our body. So from here, just 
switching our feet, rotating our hips, and using our arms. Every time my feet touch, they shoot me back up like I'm springing off of a springboard. Ten seconds. Next, I'm going to move into just really fast feet. Go. This way. Come on. Move your feet. Keep them going. Five seconds. Jog. Next, you're going to move into a big jump and a little jump. Imagine your big jump, as soon as you hit, shoots you back off to do a little jump. Watch. Big jump, little jump. Brita's watching. Hi, Brita. Get your knees up the best you can. Come on. Five seconds. Stay with me. Next, we're moving into skaters. One of Elvira's favorites. Push. Come on. Just a warm up. Time. Deep breath in. Inchworm. Walk out to plank. Shoulders over wrists, nice and straight, hold. Knees down, chest down, all the way. Push up into Cobra. And push back to child's pose. Reach forward, extend. Back up to plank. Hold it. Doing great. Who we got, Rai? Uh, Megan said, get it, Richard Simmons. <laughs> Richard Simmons is going to drop his knees. And he's going to drop his chest. Back to Cobra. Doing great. To child's pose. Good. On to your bottom. This one is for any of the young students like Lyric and Derek who are training. Make yourself into an Easter ball, an Easter uh, egg, and you're just gonna roll back. Kind of massaging your back five times, just pushing with your toes. One, back up, two, three, four, five. Lay down, put your feet out, hands all the way up. Boxer sit ups, we call these. Floyd Mayweather loves these. Makes his core strong. We're gonna go all the way up to the toes and all the way back. One, two, idea is explosive speed. Three, from the core. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, ten more. One, come on, Brita. Two, come on, Heather. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, fixing my knee. Like this, this position, can you see me? I'm gonna bridge. I'm gonna get my hips off the ground. I'm gonna take my left hand. I'm gonna reach 45 degrees to the opposite corner. So I come up in my bridge. My left arm comes all the way over. Look at this bridging up. Touch and back. Right hand up, touch and back. Let's do 10 of them. One, two, three, four, really bridge. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay there. Left leg in front of the right knee. Now I have this big circle in front of my groin. Reach through, grab your knee, 
and pull in. Great hamstring and hip stretch. Release. Switch the leg through the needle. Pull in. You can feel that stretch in your glute down here. Good, and get up, shake it out. Ryan, if you'll get the, uh, your chair. So you're gonna need your chair right now while I fix my gi. Hope you're doing great. Hi, uh, Tanya and Dejan. Fix this gi for a second. Okay, we're gonna work on a footwork drill and combine some striking. So I wanna take everybody through the striking first. So watch for a second. I'm gonna start in my fighting stance. That means one foot's in front of the other, my left foot. I'm gonna jump and switch my feet, very simple. Switch. The leg I just switched with is gonna throw a roundhouse kick and land back in front. Boom, I'm back to where I started. So let's do three of those together. Switch, kick, land in front. Switch, kick, land in front. Switch, kick, land in front. After that switch kick, I'm gonna add this hand combination. A two punch, my right hand, a hook, and then a right hand. That's a two, three, two. So two, three, two. Two, three, two. Two, three, two. If I put them all together, it's a switch, kick, land in front. Two, three, two. Switch, kick. Two, three, two. Try it with me. Switch, kick. Two, three, two. Switch, kick. Two, three, two. While you're catching your breath now, oh, Senpai Greer, you're gonna have your chair. You're gonna start in your fighting stance and you're gonna go around the chair four times. One direction using your footwork, opposite way, back the other way, and back again. And then you're gonna do that combination, switch kick, I'm sorry, you're just gonna switch your feet 10 times, you'll go on my count. Then we'll do that footwork again. Then we're gonna add the jump switch and the kick. Then we're gonna do the footwork again. Then we're gonna add the, the jump switch kick, two, three, two, and we'll move on from there. Ryan will take you through just what the footwork looks like real quick. Moving around the chair, one way and the other, okay? For those of you who are a little more advanced, as you're doing footwork, you really don't wanna get in the position of stepping behind. So I wanna be in my fighting stance in a good power position all the time, no matter what I'm doing. So we're gonna go fast on the footwork, and then you're just gonna go on 10 jump switches. You ready, Ryan? Four times, go! One direction, back the other way, come on, D. Three, four, he's gonna jump switch his feet 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, around the chair. One direction, then the other way. Faster, Ryan. Other way. Other way, he's gonna jump, switch, and kick now. Jump, switch, kick. Again, jump, switch, kick. Jump, switch, three. Jump, switch, four. Jump, switch, five. Jump, switch, six. Jump, switch, seven. Jump, switch, eight. Jump, switch, nine. Jump, switch, 10. Here goes the footwork, around. Other way. You got two more, come on. On the balls of your feet, you're moving now. Now you're gonna jump, switch, kick into two, three, two. There's a kick, two, three, two. There's a kick, two, three, two. There's a kick, two, three, two. That's your third one, keep going. That's your fourth. That's your fifth. Jump switch, kick, two, three, two. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's 10. Round the chair. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna hold on to the chair and you're just gonna lift your leg to the side, each side, one and the other one. Nice and straight legs, ready? Up to the side, nice and straight like a pendulum. As high as you can above the waist. Good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Around the chair, faster, Ryan. When you get done with this next four, you're gonna grab behind the chair and you're gonna give you those Muay Thai knees. We'll do it for 10 seconds, right? Knee, touch, switch, ready? Knee, switch, knee, switch, knee, switch, come on. Eight seconds left.
Time, back to the chairs, around, let's go. We're going back to the beginning. That's two, that's three, that's four. Switch the feet 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, around the chair. Come on, Meg, let's go. Get around there, let's go, Senpai Greer. Give me a thumbs up if you're working hard. You're going to a jump switch and a round kick now. Jump switch kick, that's one. Jump switch two. Three, jump switch first, that's four. Jump switch and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. around that chair. This time you're adding the jump switch, the kick, and the two, three, two. Come on, stay with us. Your workout, give us more. Jump switch, kick, two, three, two. Jump switch, kick, two, three, two. Jump switch, kick, two, three, two. You're on the fourth cycle here. You got ten of them. Now you're on the fifth. Come on, Ryan. Good, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, that's 10, back around the chair. Next one, you're gonna grab that chair, leg comes up high to the side like a pendulum. Use that momentum of your leg, side to side. Yoko Kiyage is the kick, up to the side, above your waist, use your core, try to keep your back straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Around the chair. Last time, Ryan. Come on. Two, three, four. Driving those knees. Muay Thai knees. You got ten seconds. Nine seconds. Keep working. Keep working. Come on. Five seconds. And time. Catch your breath. Get a quick drink. We're gonna set some other stuff up. You're gonna need your chair. Thank you, Ryan. Oh, you're gonna need your chair and you're gonna need that ball or that little stuffed animal that you can catch. We got a, about a 15 minute su circuit right now that should be great and introducing some new stuff for you that I think you'll enjoy. So make sure you get a quick drink. Give us a thumbs up, give us a happy face, give us some hearts or give us a thumbs down if you really hate working out, one of the two, but we'd like to hear from you either way. Let us know you're with us. While you're getting set here, uh, I'm gonna go through the exercises, okay? This is a 30-30, means you're gonna have 30 seconds on of doing a drill, then you're gonna have another 30 seconds on of doing a drill, and there's gonna be no rest time, and you're gonna have 15 minutes straight of work, okay? You're gonna do the best you can, you gotta pause and take a rest, pause and take a rest. No one's watching except me, uh, but do the best, and Elvira's watching too, I see it right there, it says Elvira Anderson is watching, so actually everybody is watching, so I guess you gotta do 15 minutes of work. The first exercise, we're gonna go through this slow so you can get through all, uh, understanding all the exercises. The first one, again, you're using the chair, you want your foot to be set in the center. I encourage you to go slow and do this correctly without doing it fast so that your chair slips or falls. If you're a younger student, make sure a parent is holding it, okay? But basically, Tawari is gonna to use that foot that's planted, we've used these a lot on the, on the box jumps, and he's gonna drive his other knee up towards the sky, and as he comes down, he's going to put that foot down and switch feet, right? So it looks a little bit like this. The knee comes up, he switches his feet. Up and switches his feet. Notice when he drives his knee, it's coming up above his waist. Awesome, T, thank you. As Soon as you're done with the knees, 30 seconds, you're gonna grab that ball and you're gonna get into fighting stance. And I want you to imagine that your hands are up, he's gonna hold that ball out. And he's gonna drop it and he's gonna switch hands and catch it, right? Reaching from his ear like he's throwing a punch. Again, it could be a stuffed animal you're grabbing. It could be a paper cup. It could be a crumpled up piece of paper. Okay? When we're doing this correctly, we're reaching and extending our hips. Right? We're not just using our arms to catch. So you'll have 30 seconds of that. The next thing will be an incline push-up. You can do this two ways. Feet can go onto the uh, chair and down. You can do an actual incline push-up. Okay? Or we can do it the other way. Right? Which is the way we're going to probably opt to do it. And... Tawar's gonna to try to keep his head in a perfectly straight line, right? Okay, if you get tired of the push-ups, just hold the plank, okay, if you can for 30 seconds, okay? There's your push-up. From here, he goes onto his back. He's gonna do the thing, thing we did it in the uh, beginning warm-up. On his back, he's gonna reach over his shoulder and do those back arches to the opposite corners. They look like this. Reach and touch, okay? Hips really shoot up off the ground. Reach and touch. Great, beautiful, okay? Next thing, he's gonna go over the high part of the chair. He's gonna get his hips off the ground and drive a push front kick, something like a self-defense move. Someone's coming to jump on you, reaching and pushing his foot up over the chair. Hips come up and he pushes forward. Hips come up and he drives forward. Push. Push, both hands stay down. See, this way. 
Yeah, good. Okay, next, he's gonna do a roundhouse kick, like almost like a side plank. I'm gonna show you real quick. No knees are gonna touch, one arm is gonna, right? So he's gonna throw that roundhouse kick over the chair. I'm almost in a sprawl position, nothing is touching. And then he's gonna come back with that same leg over. Then he's gonna come the opposite way. Over and over. Okay, hips and knees up off the ground. Looks like this. Over and back. Over and back. Very difficult, so take your time. Good. After that, he's gonna come up to the whole chair and he's gonna do that Muay Thai knee. Switch knee, switch knee. Next, he's gonna hold onto that chair, look over one shoulder and throw a back kick. Just looking over the same shoulder that the leg you're kicking with, kind of like a donkey kick. Okay? After that, <clears throat> he's gonna move into just using his hands like he's doing a jump rope. Right, so he's moving his feet and the wrists are circling as fast as he can like he's doing a jump rope. For the last 30 seconds, he's gonna go do a kata. If you're a karate student, you're doing a kata. You're doing takyoku one, two, or three, and it has to be done in 20 or 22 seconds, 20 to 24 seconds. So you gotta be fast with it. If you're a fitness student, you're just gonna do, we did this the other day, you're gonna stand in sort of like almost a lunge position, we call it forward leaning stance. My left leg's forward, my right arm's out, I'm just gonna switch and punch opposite directions for 30 seconds. We're gonna try to get through it two times for sure, maybe three, okay? There's a quiz later, uh, Alexa, there is a quiz later, but I'm gonna walk you through it anyway. So let's get that chair. First thing we're doing is those lunges. I talked enough, here we go. Uh, we need the timer, 30, 30. Let's get that set. It's also, it's the first start, then we have the five seconds, and then we start. Okay, Ready? yep. Five. Five seconds. Four. Three. Go. Two. Go. Drive those knees. Make sure your balance is good. You've got a lot of work ahead of you, so pace yourself. Drive those knees. Straight up and explode. You've got 15 seconds left. After this 15 seconds, you're moving into grabbing that ball and switching hands as you punch. That's 10 seconds left. Don't stop now. You just started. Grab that ball. Switch and catch. Switch and catch. Get out of your fighting stance. Switch and catch. Rotate those hips. The harder you drive, the harder it is. You might even drop the ball like Tawari did. Reach and punch, reach and punch. You're gonna move to incline push-ups. That's your next order of business. 10 seconds. You only have three cycles as this, this to do. So come on, stay with us. Reach and punch, reach and catch. Grab that chair, incline push-ups, your choice. Or you hold plank if you need to. You can't do it incline, do them on the ground. Hold plank on the ground. T-Man, your mom's watching. You better keep that back straight. You got 15 seconds. Drive those push-ups back straight, head straight, T. You're gonna next go into those things on your back where you're reaching, arching over your shoulder to the opposite corner. Really expand an extension of your core. Let's go. Onto your backs. Reach, get your hips off the ground. Opposite corner. Take your time. Even if you can come onto the balls of your feet, come off your ankle, come off your heels, right? Really exploding to each corner. Imagine someone's on top of you, you're reaching and pushing them off you. The next thing you're gonna go to is your seated front kicks, right? You're gonna face that chair and you're driving those front kicks up and over the chair. Sensei Katie's watching you, Tawari. You better be perfect. You already are perfect though, anyway. Again, going up and over the chair. If you can't do the high part of the chair, do it over the low part of the chair, D. If you can't get the high part, you're gonna go over the low part. Driving your hips up, off the ground, and pushing that person off you. I think Sensei Katie knows this drill better than I know it. They do this in Krav all the time. Okay, maybe the one they don't do is the next one where you're gonna drive your roundhouse kick up over the chair and your hook kick back the other way with your hips off the ground. Get ready, this is a hard one, take your time. Roundhouse kick over, hook kick back the other way. Roundhouse kick and hook kick. Beautiful, T. I like the T-man's taking his time. He's getting that full rotation all the way over. That's it. Again, if you can't do the high part of the chair, do the low part. If you can't do the kicks, do a side plank for 30 seconds. You're moving into the Muay Thai knees coming up next. Doing great, T. 
Grab that chair, move it into Muay Thai knees, right? Watch Tawari's rhythm here. Knee switch, knee switch, knee switch. If you can't do the knee switches, just drive a knee kick and then try the other knee. Keep working, you're getting thumbs up till you're doing great. Let us know you're with us. Let us know you're having fun. Let us know you're sweating. You're moving into back kicks. For those of you who are new to back kick, you're literally looking over one shoulder and kicking over with the same leg. So if I look over my left, I kick with my left. Don't worry about the type of kick, just drive a kick. Hold in that chair, look and kick. Those of you who are martial artists, I want you to try to drive your knee up first before you drive it out. Up and over and try to get that above your waist. You're moving into that jump rope next, right? That jump rope position. 10 seconds, come on. We're almost through the first circuit here, Alexa, and then you can pass the test. You're gonna have the written test at the end. Here we go, skip rope, move those hands. Wrist move fast, fast feet move fast. Boom, 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 right? Switch in, look at T. He's straight out of Rocky IV. Or Creed. Okay, he's got about 20 seconds. He's gonna move to Takeoka 1. He's gotta do it in 22 seconds. That's what the IFK requires. For the fitness students who don't know Kata, you're just switching and punching, right? Hips rotate, and you're gonna do it for 30 seconds. And we're going back to the beginning. Get ready. Takeoka Kata happens now. Switching and punching if you're a fitness student and you don't know Kata, that's okay. Shoot. Sure. Keep walking, keep walking, you got 15 sure. seconds. You're going back to the lunges, those driving knees, onto that chair, let's get that chair set up. You see, yeah. Right, getting those knees to drive all the way up. Catch your balance, let's go, Lyric, let's go. Come on, Meg. Take your time, T, drive it up higher. Keep your hands up. Your leg, your foot needs to be on the center of that chair the whole time. You got 15 seconds, keep working. Remember, you're going to those punches next. You're gonna extend your hand, reach and switch, reach and switch, reach and switch. Keep those knees driving, keep them driving. If you can't do it up that high, do it on the ground. Just drive a high knee kick from the ground. Good, here we go, holding that ball, switch and punch, switch and punch. Catch it in front of you, catch it in front of you. Be aggressive with how you throw that punch out. Reach and grab, reach and grab, reach and grab, good. And look at team and rotating his hips. You want to rotate your hips. You're moving next to those incline push-ups. You want to challenge yourself, put your feet on the chair. If you want to be a little easier, which is still difficult, hands are up on the chair. Can't do that, hold your plank. Here we go, T. Let's go. Get that chair out. Incline push-ups, whatever ones make sense for you. Back is straight, head stays neutral. That's it. Take your time, right? We want to be correct with this. When you're done with the push-ups, you're moving to the, onto your back with those back arches, reaching and touching the opposite corner, really expanding the chest and reaching from the core. You got 10 seconds, you're doing great. I hope you're sweating with us. I hope you're feeling good. Good T, good. Onto the back. Arching those hips off the ground and really reaching. Good T man, that's it, beautiful. Reach and touch. It is not a speed drill. You're gonna get tired either way. Do it correctly. Good. Reach and touch. Reach and touch. Your next order of business, you're gonna stay in that kind of position and you're gonna drive those front kicks up and over the chair. Okay, if you can't do them over the chair, just do them on the ground. Just kicking your leg up and trying to get your hips up. Can't get your hips, hips up, just kick your foot out. Pulls the chair in, on his back, kicking up and over it. Reach and kick. Take your time, Get those. look at those hips coming up. Perfect, that's what we want. Hips coming up, you've got 15 seconds. Then the hard one, then it's gonna be that round kick and that hook kick, it's difficult. Good. Come on, Deshaun, you better be working with us. Good, come on, Senpai Greer. Here's those round kicks and hook kicks, that's it, T. This is great for those Brazilian kicks that we use in Kyokushin to knock people out. That cutting kick. When you're done with this, you're gonna to go to those Muay Thai knees. You're doing great, T. Stay with it, man, you got 15 seconds. Try to come off your knees when you're throwing those kicks. Atta boy, there you go, good, take your time. That's what you want, beautiful. We're making him work. He's working for you. 
Good. Back to the knees, see. You doing all right, buddy? Yup. <laughs> Here's the Muay Thai knees. He's driving them. Drive those knees with him. That's the rhythm you want. That's the motion you want. Drive those knees. After the knees, you're going to move to those back kicks. I hope you're sticking with us, Derek. I hope you're doing great, buddy. I know you're working hard. This is our last round. Come on. Almost there. You're moving to jump rope. Change it up. We'll do something different after this. Skip rope. Jump rope. Jump rope. Right, right. This is the last one, T. After this one, he's going to move to the kata. You're going to do takioko too. You've got to do it in 22 seconds. Again, fitness folks, you're in forward leaning stance and you're just switching and you're punching. 15 seconds. Stay with this. Come on. Look at his, look at his motion. Look at his motion. He's double timing it. Come on. That's Sylvester Stallone. I swear it must be Sylvester Stallone. Look how fast he's going. Moving to kata or those rotating punches. Let's go. Last thing. Last one we're doing. We're going to stop after this. No Sure. We'll move to the footwork there next. Sure. Keep punching. Keep punching. Keep punching. You got five seconds. Keep punching. Faster, Derek. Faster, Lyric. And time. Rest. You're doing great. Thank you, T-Man. Awesome. Excellent stuff. Catch your breath, get a quick drink of water. I'm gonna bring Ryan up. I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do next. The next uh, set of drills we're gonna do is a 40-20. So we're gonna get the uh, timer set for 40 and 20 seconds. Okay, so while you're catching your breath, we're gonna keep that energy going um, and just pay attention for a second. You're gonna start a little further back or whatever space you have, you need to be able to have it where you can step up about four times. So you're gonna use that step slide we've been working on for, for a year now, right? I'm gonna step slide four times forward. And then I'm gonna switch my feet. <clears throat> then I'm gonna step slide back four times and switch my feet. And I'm gonna keep doing that four times forward, switch, step back four times, and I'm gonna do that for 40 seconds straight. So I wanna be fast with my footwork, switch, 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 okay? 40 seconds of that. The 20 seconds is just you going on your back and doing sit ups. Then you're going to have another 40 seconds back on where you're going to do that four steps forward. And now you're going to do that jump switch. We did it before. And you're going to add the kick. You're going to jump switch, kick. And you're going to shuffle back four times. Jump switch, kick. And you're going to shuffle forward four times. Jump switch, kick. You're going to do that for 40 seconds. Then you're going to go back and you're going to do sit-ups again. Then you're going to do it again where you do that switch, kick. Two, three, two. Same thing. Move back. Switch, kick. Two, three, two. 40 seconds. You know what happens on the 20 seconds, right? That 20 seconds, you're going to do sit-ups again. That's three rounds. The last round, you're gonna just stand and you're gonna do front kicks for 40 seconds. And then you're gonna give me fast feet and fast hands for 20. And you're gonna go through this two times. Alexa, if you got that, you're gonna pass the test. You ready, Rye? Is this set for 40-20? Yeah. So it's a 40-second go and a 20-second rest, which is used as a 40 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of sit-ups. There is no rest. It's eight minutes straight of work. Come on. You wanted to train like a fighter, let's do it. You ready, Ryan? You know what we're doing, right? Stepping up, switch, and back switch. That's all we're doing. Here we go. You got five seconds to start. Three. Let's go. Four steps forward, jump switch, and back. And then jump switch again. Right? Be aggressive with how you step in. You can stay with Ryan's pace or you can speed it up. Every time you get to the end of those four steps, forward or backward, it's a jump switch. Be aggressive with your jump switch. You've got 24 seconds. Faster with your fit, footwork, faster with your jump switch. Come on, come on, come on. In and out. Front leg leads forward. Back leg leads going backwards. You've got 10 seconds and then you're moving into 20 seconds of sit-ups. you got this. This is just the beginning. Come on. Almost there. Keep working. Keep working. Sit-ups. Let's go. 20 seconds of sit-ups. Keep cranking. All the way up. Come on, D-Man. You've got a strong core. Show them how it's done, Lyric. You're a champion. You're a BKK champion. When you come up, you're doing four steps forward. Jump switch and that roundhouse kick. Four steps back. Jump switch roundhouse kick. Keep working. Here we go. Four steps forward. Jump switch, roundhouse kick, beautiful kick. Four back, jump switch kick. 
Don't get confused about what leg. As long as you're switching your feet and kicking, we don't care. There's a switch and a kick. There's four steps in, four steps back. Make it count, make it count, make it count. Alexa, you have extra credit for bringing your ankle weights today, 100%. You're getting 30 points of extra credit. You've got 20 seconds left of this jump switch kick. Come on, come on, dig deep now. You're still in the beginning of the round. Let's go, let's go, 10 seconds. Keep working. Keep working, three seconds. Sit up, come on, Senpai Tom, this is your bag, come on. Crank them out. I hope Jack is punching you in your solar plexus as you do these. He's conditioning that body. I know you need it today. This time when you come up, same footwork forward. Jump switch, roundhouse kick. Two, three, two. That's what you're doing each time. Ready? Let's go. Step forward four times. Jump switch, kick. Two, three, two. Step back. Jump switch, kick. Two, three, two. You got the drill. Now it's up to you. How hard do you want it? How hard do you... How hard are you willing to work? Come on, come on, come on. How bad do you want it? Jump switch kick, two, three, two. Every time, jump switch kick, two, three, two. There's only 15 seconds left and you're going back to sit-ups. Come on. Keep working, Rod, you're doing great. Last 10 seconds. Come on, make it count, make it count. Sit-ups, come on, double time them, double time them. When you stand up, you've got 20 seconds right now. When you stand up, you're going to front kicks for 40 seconds straight. And then the last 20 seconds, fast feet and uppercuts constantly. Keep working, you're doing great. Mommy just proved her blue belt with a black stripe to Derek, great, awesome. Stand up, front kicks, front kicks, front kicks. Come on. You got 40 seconds of these, then we go back to the top. We're almost there. How we doing, Ryan? Good. Making him work, make him work for his first Q brown belt. 25 seconds, keep those kicks going. And look at Ryan, all of his kicks are above the head, uh, above the belt. He's kicking Jodon, making those kicks head height. Come on, come on, Brita. Whoever's working with us, come on, do the best you can. You're gonna move to fast feet and fast uppercuts. We're almost there. You've got about four minutes left of the whole, the whole shebang, you're almost done. Fast feet, fast hands, Ryan, 20 seconds, come on. Just like that, just like that. Hands and feet are pumping. Hands and feet are pumping. Come on. 10 seconds. Then you're moving back to that footwork. Footwork and the jump switch. How we doing, Ryan? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. We're not gonna quit today. Here we go, second round of the fight. Four steps in, a jump switch, and no kick, just a switch, Ryan. Good. Stepping in, breathing in through his nose, and there's a jump switch in between, right? There's a jump switch and moving back. He's working on slowing his breathing down, controlling his breath here. He knows it's gonna amp up and get harder. Stay with him, stay with him. 20 seconds, looking good, Rod. Doing all right? <laughs> 10 seconds. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Move into sit-ups. Take your time, pace yourself. This is when it gets hard, right? This is where the champions are born. We want you to be a champion. When you come up, you're doing that footwork, jump switch and roundhouse kick. Doesn't have to be light speed, right? Just wanna be consistent. So slow down the pace and be consistent. Step in four times, switch and kick. I love it, look at Ryan, he's not slowing down at all. Jump, switch and kick. Kim, we hope you're training with us. Hope you're not just watching. I think it's fine because I was doing it yesterday with Katie. Okay. Yeah. Keep working. Jump, switch and kick. Those roundhouse kicks almost there, Ryan. Come on, baby, come on. We know you're working hard, come on. Five seconds, you're going back to sit-ups. Make those sit-ups count. Good, strong core. Focus on your breathing. Nice and strong. When you come up, you're doing footwork, jump switch roundhouse kick, two, three, two. You've got two cycles left, just this, and then the front kicks and the uppercuts. Come on, let's go. Four steps forward. Jump switch kick, two, three, two, stay with it, Ryan. 
That's it. Nice and consistent and nice and straight and easy. Come on. Piece of cake. In, switch kick, two, three, two. You got this, man. You got this. Good. Jump, switch kick, two, three, two. I hope you're working out hard at home. Come on, I hope you're working with him. He's giving it to you, stay with him. Jump, switch kick, two, three, two. Let me know how you're doing, Lyric. Let me know how you're doing, Derek. Come on, keep working hard. Almost there. This is it, this is it. You got front kicks. Front kicks for Front kicks, front kicks. I made it easy for you, sorry. Front kicks. And then we'll go fast feet and hands for 40 seconds. You can, we can finish with that, yeah? Come on. Fast feet, fast hands, 40 seconds. This is it, this is it. This is the end. You're finishing now. Everything you got. You want 30 seconds and then, and then the kata? I can do more. Yeah, you just pick whatever kata you want. Good. 20 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Come on. 10 seconds. This is it. This is it. And time. Woo! That's Ryan. He worked his tail off for you the whole time. I hope you were working too. Catch your breath, Ryan. We're going to do one more thing. Don't give up on us now. We're going to keep this going. We've been doing these spurts of intensity. Stay with us. Last thing we're going to do. You're going to shadow box, sparring round for 30 seconds. When I call time, Tawari's going to go to do a kata. You're going to do a kata at home. If you don't know how to do kata, I want you to choose an exercise to do. Lunges, squats, push-ups, jumping jacks, mountain climbers. You've learned so many exercises from Elvira. Pick one you're going to do for, for the time that Tawari does his kata. Then we're going to go back up, do another 30-second round. Uh, again, and then while he goes to the kata, you're going to do that exercise. We're going to do three rounds of this. Let's do it. Let's finish strong. Here we go, T. Yeah, sure. It's fine. I have the time. I'm just going to, I'll just keep, right. keep it off time. You ready? Shadow box round. Here we go, Tom. Starts now. Go. 30 seconds. For those of you who are fitness students, you know your front kick, you know your knee kick, you learn roundhouse kick, you know how to punch, you know how to throw elbows, you know footwork. You're a fighter, so act like one. Let's go. Make it count. Show them how it's done, Derek. Show mommy how you do it. You got 10 seconds. Come on, pour it on. Pour it on, Carrie. Pour it on, Senpai Tom. Let's go. Five seconds. Nice. And time. Kata, go. You're doing some kind of exercise if you don't know kata. Keep it going. I'll tell you when to stop. Shut up. The kata is a kata of your choice. Doesn't matter what the kata is. Shut up. Yummy. Here we go. Back to our sparring round. And go. Let's go, Senpai Tom. Let me feel those punches from you, man. Feel those uppercuts and hooks to the body. I know you like that body damage. Come on. Hands are up, right? You're imagining your offense and defense. You're seeing your opponent. Hands are up. Breathing. 15 seconds on this round. Then we're going back to another kata and you're going to go to an exercise. Five seconds. Come on. Time to a kata T. You're going to an exercise fitness, folks. Let's go. Let's make it. Begin. Excellent. Good. You got some good work, buddy. Shut up. Stay strong in that kata. We're almost done. Keep those exercises going. Whatever you're Shut doing, make Elvira proud. Yame, catch your breath. You got three seconds. Last round. Go, let's go. This is when you win. This is when you win the fight. Come on. Good, hear those punches snap. Good T, come on. Let those hands out, let those legs go. Good. Strong stuff, everything you got. 15 seconds. Come on T, your dad's watching. Come on, show him how you do it. Show him those inside Uchimata kicks. There it is. 
Five seconds. And time. Kata. Last exercise, fitness people. Go. Come on. This is it. Finish strong. Finish strong. Keep going. Keep going. You got about 15 seconds. This is it. This is truly the end. Come on. Come on. And time. Thank you, T. Excellent. Catch your breath for a second. Stay with me. Okay, we love to do a slow breathing in karate. It really helps uh, center. So feet under your shoulders. Hopefully you've got a great workout. Put your hands out this way. Your thumb is on the inside. Your fingers are together. This is called Nogari. As I breathe in through my nose, I rotate my hand palms. will come into my armpits. And as I breathe out of my mouth, I push the air out and down. So my hands start out. I breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. While you're catching your breath, love that we're getting thumbs up and that everybody's doing great. I want you all right now, I don't care if you do fitness or martial arts, you're all part of FSK. I want you all to lay down on your backs right now. We're going to finish with a short meditation. I think we all can use it. Lay on your back, and I want you to lay with your palms facing the sky. And I want your whole body to feel the entire uh, ground you're laying on. So palms are facing the sky, hands are relaxed. I want you to relax your face, relax your body. And I want you to slowly breathe in through your nose and slowly out through your mouth. If you can only get three seconds in through your nose, then get three seconds out. And slowly breathe in and out and try to get four seconds and five seconds and then six seconds. And up to see if you can get up to ten seconds as you go in through your nose and out through your mouth. This was brutal, Tanya says. Oh, that's how we do it. That's how we do it, Tanya. Oh, for our IFK family. You're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. You're slowing your breath down. I want you to take this time with me. I want you to promise me that you're going to stay with me right now. Because this is, this is probably the most important part of our training today. I want you to close your eyes. And I just want you to focus on that breath. I don't care if you're working out with somebody else in, your, in the room. This is just your time. We do this drill a lot when we're getting fighters really close to competing when they go into competition. So you're doing the same thing with us now. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Slowing your breath down. And what I want you to imagine is just listen to my words and keep your eyes closed. And take these few minutes with me. And I want you to see the first color that comes into your mind. I can't tell you what the color is because I don't know what the color is. I know what my color is. That's the only one I have control over. It's the one that fills me up and makes me strong and powerful and focused. So I want you to, whatever that color is that you see, I want you, each time you take a breath in, I want you to feel it at the balls of your feet and on your heels and the kind of the palm of your foot. It's starting to infiltrate through your skin at the bottoms of your feet. Each breath in, it kind of fills in those feet and the toes and it's tingly and it's whatever color that it is for you. Some people it's green, it could be purple, maybe a color that we've none, none of us ever seen before. And each breath in, it starts to crawl up your legs. It's surrounding your ankles now. And it's, each breath in, it slowly moves up your calf. And it feels great. It's not ticklish. It doesn't hurt. It feels like sunshine. It feels like the universe crawling into you. It's coming up through your shins. And each deep breath in, it starts to surround your knees. And it circles around your thighs. And your hamstrings. And your glutes. And it moves up to the small of your back. And it's now from the toes through your small of your back and it's wrapping around your waist and coming all through your core and your center right now. Each breath in, it starts to rise up through your diaphragm and your stomach and your organs and up through your chest and it feels great. And it's moving into your shoulders now. It's like you're being massaged with this color that is just yours, it's nobody else's. And it rolls over your shoulders and the shoulder blades into the upper back and down and up and down your spine, and it starts to move down your triceps and into your biceps and your forearms, and it's reaching out through your fingertips and your knuckles, and it's moving around your neck, the base of your neck and the crown of your neck, 
and up through the spine, the upper part of your neck. And it wraps around your ears and to your chin. It's circling around your face and your eyes and your nose and all the way through the crown of your head. And right now, as you breathe in, it is filling your entire body, your color. Breathe it in. This color is yours. It's the color that keeps you strong. It's the color that keeps you powerful. It's the color that keeps you civil. It's the color that keeps you peaceful. It's the color that keeps you joyful. It's the color that feeds the love and strength you have inside of you. It feeds all of that as you breathe it in. So the deeper you breathe it in, the more enriched it feels in your body. And I want you to take 10 deep breaths in and feel that color and own it. It is yours. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Breathe it in. It's your time. Allow yourself those 10 strong breaths of your color. Nobody else's. Take five more seconds. And gently, slowly open your eyes. Feel your body, it's still there. And I want you to remember that that color is yours. That strong color, powerful, joyful, full of love, full of support, full of everything that makes life awesome. And I want you to be able to call on it when you need it. Whether that's at home, at your job, dealing with a government loan like I'm dealing with, all the stuff we're up against, call on that color. When you don't feel like training, call on that color and come back and train with us. Let's come up to our knees. We'll do a short bow out together. I hope you had a great training. I loved it. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Tawari. Um, these teens that are here week in and week out, Charlie included, Elvira, who we know is hurt, uh, but we love her. Um, we're doing everything we can together to keep our minds and our bodies sharp and focused, and that's all we can do. So, a deep breath in and out. You're doing great work. Eyes closed, look so. So yummy, right? Well, I hope you had a great class. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of intensity, a lot of motion, a lot of footwork. I hope you got a good sweat. And uh, we just really love having you with us. Uh, cannot say enough about our students, teachers, and clients. We are really all very, very blessed. I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead. Remember, there's tons of content on the YouTube page. Every training that we've been doing, the live ones included, you can always go back to and train. Uh, there's clips uh, and, and uh, exercises um, and classes that Camille has put up. Sensei Dave Sheets put up a great thing about Takio Fukata. It's very important for all karate students. They should take that six minutes and work on that today. Um, black belt included. And uh, we just love you and FSK all day. God bless. Oops.